Hi, my name is Cassie Young. I am giving you a little bit of a sneak peek for what I am talking about in my webinar with NIAMT on Thursday night. So I am going to talk about primary care physical therapy in outpatient orthopedic physical therapy practice. Uh, there are often two things that are assumed about primary care in physical therapy. Uh, number one, that it's its own um, separate entity in physical therapy, its own specialty, um, which is true. This is It is being considered by the APTA as its own potential specialty, um, looking at specialization process for primary care and potential development of you know, a residency pathway for primary care. Lots of great people doing good things out there um, in regards to this. And then the second thing is that primary care is often assumed to be only the role of physical therapists who do primarily direct access or, you know, like military physical therapists who, again, have a heavily um, biased direct access role. And so I'm going to tackle it from a little bit of a different perspective. So I spent the last few years of my practice in Waco, Texas, uh, and it was all referred from uh, primarily PCPs, sometimes orthopedic physicians, uh, but none of it was direct access. And my patient population was patients who were medically complex, patients with lots of comorbidities, oftentimes um, a large chunk of my patients had poor healthcare literacy, uh, some of them with lower socioeconomic status. Uh, and this is sort of the context where I learned a lot about kind of putting on my primary care hat in the evaluation process for patients and really understanding that, you know, I was always seeing I'm an orthopedic physical therapist. Like that's my training. That's my specialization. I'm seeing orthopedic patients. But in order to really examine and treat these people effectively, I have to wear a primary care like holistic hat where I look at um, screening different different medical systems uh, or different systems of the body in order to care for the patient the best way possible. And so an example that will go into more depth on the webinar is the diabetic patient. There are pathophysiologic changes that occur to orthopedic tissues, musculoskeletal tissues in the diabetic patient with orthopedic complaints. Uh, changes to um, bones, ligaments, soft tissue that can impact how you should care for this patient. Uh, and so there we'll do a little bit of a dive into some of the pathophysiology that occurs in the diabetic patient. Um, and there are lots of other examples that we'll look at, looking at this sort of um, body system screening perspective for these patients and understanding when um, not only is this person, you know, we always decide, okay, is the person safe to be here, but looking one step beyond that and looking at their healthcare more holistically and seeing, okay, while I treat this patient, is there something else that needs to be addressed? Is there a way that I can um, communicate with the patient, communicate with their primary care physician, and look at potential further testing or treatment for some of these other things in order to impact how the patient does in PT and how their health um, is in general. And so uh, it's something that I am, am very passionate about. I feel that all orthopedic physical therapists should be good primary care physical therapists in this perspective as well. And I'm really looking forward to talking to you about it. So I hope to see you Thursday night at 7.30 CST. Thanks.